Hello my hungry friends. Welcome to Polish Kitchen. It's not Monday today. I'm not cooking up any Polish food. And it's not Friday today because we're not going anywhere to look at nothing and then eat the food. We thought our channel needed another section. So today uh, we're starting a new section to our blog. Vlog where we review different Polish foods. And today we're reviewing we did sausages. Sausages. So let's get to it. Okay. We thought it's the beginning of, well, it's dead center in the middle of grilling season. And yep. tons of people know about normal kielbasa in the States that you would cook on a campfire or the grill or whatever. But do you know about many types of sausages? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different types of sausages. This video is really needed. Yeah, and my cholesterol level is going to go through the roof. Don't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll eat some salad after this. Yeah, beer will knock it down. It's okay. Shh. So let's get to it. Okay. What do we start with? Grilling them or cooking them. No, some of them don't get cooked. That's a true statement. Okay, let's start with... Cabanosa. Let's let's start with those that don't get cooked. Right. So this is cabanosa. This is one cabanos. Right. Dva but you put them together as cabanosa. So the closest thing I can compare this to in the states would be like a jerky stick. Like um, think of a slim jim, but not all greasy and stupid. Very meaty, very yummy, spiced. Uh, Pork. So this is actually a mixture of beef and pork, mm. but uh, they o they often come in just pork or sometimes even chicken. So the meat is ground up, it's spiced. This is a cured, smoked, cured yeah, sausage. Yeah, smoked. It's beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. They get stuffed in lamb intestines mm -hmm. and then smoked, uh, cold smoked, and then they are parboiled. And then they're dried actually for a while. Yeah. So that's that's why they look so wrinkly. And this particular one we get at this nice store downtown uh, that makes their own. Erting. 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 Mm hmm. They <laughs> I make can't their, even do that. They, ma <laughs> <laughs> they make their own bacon. They make their own sausages. They make their own pastet. They make their own. Really cool place. Lunch meats. So these are uh, super lean uh, and they're a little bit spicy. Yeah, sometimes these can get pretty fatty. Yeah, you know, because they're cutting corners on mm -hmm. on things, so they add more fat than than the meat. But these are delicious. I see caraway in here, and um, they're a little bit spicy. They're mm -hmm. delicious. They got a little pecan mm -hmm. to them, is what they call them here. They also come in dried, even more drier versions. Mm-hmm. So they'll look a little bit more wrinkly and they'll be a little bit harder. Those are good too. These are kind of like the I'm on the go snack for the Polish person. You just pull one out of your out pocket and, and eat on the train yeah. or something. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Good. They're on the go. They're good. Mm -hmm. It's like jerky but different. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. Mm, this one. So this is a... Oh, oh. my chair is... Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy. <laughs> you ate one sausage, you're too heavy for the chair. <laughs> I'm already breaking stuff. Okay, what is this? So this is, you can probably find it uh, under a couple different names. Either Żywiecka or Krakowska. Oh, that's the one I know it by. Which uh, just means the name of the city that maybe they were developed in. But, so this is a also a smoked... Uh, sausage that we don't cook. This is normally eaten on sandwiches. Cut usually thinner than this. Yeah, but I, I, you know what are you gonna do? But they they are normally really lean, and the meat isn't minced for uh, for stuffing. The meat is. I have a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lucy. <laughs> uh, the meat is cut into a little bit larger pieces. And the little white spots that you see are the the bits of fat that are in it. So there's not going to be very many. This is one of my favorite uh, lunch type meats mm -hmm. to put on your sandwich. 
and it's pretty mild. You can taste a little bit of a smoky flavor in it, but and sometimes a little pe peppery. I like this one a lot. It's super lean. I love it. Made of pork. It's got a good flavor. It's got yeah. a good hammy type pork flavor. Sandwich. Mm -hmm. no, pork sandwich. Pork sandwich. Pork sandwich. Pork sausage. Pork sandwich sausage. Okay. Then next one I'm going to show is this one. So this one you may see a lot in Polish delis in America. Right next to this one. What's the difference between this one and this one? So this one is in... This will probably be under name like Zwyczajna which means plain, or Śląska, uh, which is uh, Śląska's region in Poland. Mm -hmm. And this one is a little bit more fatty. It's also pork sausage uh, that's been smoked, but not as heavily smoked as this one, as is you can see by is color. Is this the one that we would know in the States as like a Hillshire farm yes. ring kielbasa? Yes. Okay, so that's the Śląska. Zwyczajna, Grilova, sometimes it goes by the you name gotta Grilova. Really enunci pronunciate, enunciate that one properly. Grilova? No, the other word. Śląska? No, one more. Zwyczajna? Mm hmm. Why? <laughs> Mind. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so, so, and this one was uh, dried more uh -huh. after it was. So, same sausage. Same, it could be, th although this is probably leaner. Uh -huh. So, this isn't intended for. Uh, processing heat processing anymore so grilling or you could maybe boil it and it would probably be good or mm -hmm. use it in in a dish that you're making but this one is nice uh, for just eating on sandwiches as well I was gonna say you're gonna talk about it all day or we're gonna <laughs> eat it <laughs> see well look you at can smoke tell ring. it's uh, pretty dry yeah but there's a smoke ring put that on there you can really tell when something is made in a small batch, yeah. in my opinion. This was made in the shop we bought it from. Mm -hmm. I watched the people in the back making sausages for tomorrow or the next day, even if they have to dry. But it's got a smoke ring in it. You yep. won't see that at a commercially produced joint. Yep, and it's a little bit drier mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. And this is my favorite so far. And this is also a good traveling sausage. It is a good traveling <laughs> sausage, yeah. You can pull this also out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. and this one we're not gonna taste raw no uh we're gonna cook, cook this one up yep um so that concludes our cooked sausages no Pasta. oh that one that one you gotta cook though mm -hmm. so and all these are pork uh all these are pork sausages uh with the exception of this one which is the mixture of pork and beef pork and beef okay now oh fly shoe fly don't bother me a lot of these you can cook in an oven perfectly fine i prefer to cook these all on a grill however comma today it has decided to rain <coughs> uh and so we are not going to be grilling them we are going to cook them in the oven not that you haven't grilled in the rain or snow i have grilled in the rain and snow but not with a camera and microphones yeah and uh, everything i would so this is what i'd like to do so this is maybe i describe all of these before we go so this one is a uh we call it white sausage uh so biawa kielbasa or f also known in america as fresh sausage mm -hmm. uh it's a mixture of pork and pork and more pork and more pork normally traditionally this is cooked in soup uh jurek for easter mm -hmm. but people like this sausage a lot so we also eat it year round and I actually like uh, grilling these. Um, and this one reminds me of American bratwurst. bratwurst. I was going to say, like, if you think of the grind texture on this, it's close, very close to like a Johnsonville bratwurst. Um, some some of these are a much finer grind, like the parufki or the the big fat um, uh, hot dogs. Mm -hmm. But this is more of a like jo think Johnsonville brat. Yeah. Uh, but the flavor isn't. Yeah, that. The, I was going to say the flavor mixture is just a little bit different. This one is uh, a lots of garlic and marjoram. Yeah. Uh, it very and pepper. Pepper, very tasty sausage. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a video on our channel about how to make this biakio We do. So go browse around. Not and yet though. <laughs> finish this one first. Yeah. And then we have our uh, kashanka, 
Which is? Also known as, I think, kiszka, some people call it. Which is also known as? Which, in Poland, we kiszka is something different. Kaszanka is blood sausage mm-hmm. uh, made with <laughs> pork intestines, not intestines, uh, organ meats, mm-hmm. and some kind of kasha, so some kind of grain. And blood. And blood, that's why it's black. And this is a non-blood version of that uh-huh. sausage, uh-huh. this one. What do they so call that? Uh, sometimes they call it biała kaszanka. Mm. Or I think I've seen name like kasha. Or so something. this one has no blood in it, but it's still made with kasha. pork meats and yep. kasha. So yep. it's a little more tame, huh? Yeah. Would you say? <sighs> like this is professional sausage eating. Yeah, but like to me, I don't taste the blood a lot. Like these don't differ in flavor as much for me. Uh-huh. But I think for some people, it's more a. It's a head trip. Yeah. So you have a ch- you have an option of doing eating this without without the blood and then we have this lighter one over here this is what we call kishka potato mm. kishka is uh, potato sausage i like kishka uh also in a uh, pork uh, casing and it'll have so it's a mixture of potatoes and onions crisped up onion bits and, and bacon bacon bits, bacon bits. So it's not, they, it's like they try to make a vegetarian version. <laughs> <laughs> and you can, oh, get vegeta- <laughs> you can get vegetarian versions of Kishka without without the bacon. Can you? Yeah. I haven't seen no, one. No, Igor does, gets them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, Professor Igor. You've seen him maybe in some of our other videos. <laughs> anyway. And then last but not least. Definitely not least. This uh, parufka. <laughs> so p- parufka around here are normally about this size. Normal hot dog like It's a normal America. like a hot dog type thing. But this is a hot dog on steroids, I guess, basically. And I actually like these. It's the same texture, same flavor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you would just heat it up in water. Yep. I guess you could grill it if you want to. Yeah, you eat can. It in a bun. I actually like them cold. I like them cold, too. And then parufki are usually are eaten quite often uh, as a breakfast side, like a like a mm-hmm. breakfast sausage uh, here in Poland, which I don't uh, mind at all. Now, what do you eat with these beautiful sausages? What's the condiment of choice usually in Poland? My condiment of choice is mustard and okay. and um, horseradish. Okay. What about you? Well, from, from, it, before I moved here it was straight ketchup on everything that was tube meat if it's tube meat it's getting ketchup put on it okay. but i have developed a liking for mustard on a normal kielbasa biawi kielbasa i like sean with Defin- um most definitely yeah because well that's like the easter thing yeah that's where i got my first flavors of it and i really dug it yeah it goes uh, together really well the mustard that i fell in love with in america it's by this company called bachik and it's made in Poland. They are the sponsor for this video, Bacik. But, but let me just say this. Oh. We loved Bacik before. Right. Uh, exactly. They started sponsoring us. And yes. we reached out because we love them so yep. much. We reached out and uh, talked about uh, getting some of their products yep. and uh, showing the world and giving, the, giving them a taste. So I just wanted to get some Bacik products. And so I figured since, you know, she runs a cooking <laughs> show, maybe we could get some. They had, I fell in love with their pickles first. Uh, when we lived in Philadelphia, there was an international store uh, that <coughs> was run close to our house. And we would go there and get the pickles, Bachik pickles. And then I found this mustard, and it's magnificent. And their kshan is beautiful, their horse, prepared horseradish. So Bachik. And it comes in two spiciness levels. It does. Extra hot and normally yep. hot. Oh no, they're both hot. Well, Shan is hot, so I guess. So if you want some real Polish sides, like the pickles and kapusta and <laughs> and, and, and mustarde and all these things, go on to where? Bacik.com. And order it. They'll mail it to you. And since this video is coming right now, they have a, just for you, just for fans of our channel, they have a... A discount code um, I'm posting it right in the description of this video you can go to their channel go to their channel go to their website make yourself an order they'll ship right to your house 
and you can have a variety of gorgeous sausages uh, for your upcoming Fourth of July cookout. Maybe, just maybe. Because if you're not, if you're cooking Polish sausage, you need to have some Polish condiments for it. And I'll tell you, this mustard, this is my favorite. It's ostra, it's spicy. Because it's got a lot mm. of horseradish in it, but it is fantastic. Horseradish, and it has mustard seeds. Mustard seeds, yeah. It's wonderful. It's delicious. I promise you, if you're a mustard fan, and you're a horseradish fan, this is really good. you like will be addicted it. to this. I like this. it spicy. Should we cook these things? Yes. We're going to cook them. You guys chill out for a second. We'll be right back. Ta-da! Ta <laughs> so we have Sausage. cooked up all of our sausages. Sausages. And uh, the biakubasa up front, we, it was cooked in water with mm -hmm. uh, the trio that I call trio. Mm -hmm. So allspice, uh, percorns, yep. and uh, bay leaf. Yep. And uh, bring, our, bring it up to boil and then turn it down to, to super low where it just kind of simmers and you're gonna get a gorgeous diawa. Oh, no, 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 no. Kashanka first. Oh, you want Kashanka first? I want to do this. But one. I was talking about the diawa. Okay, let's do diawa then. No, let's do Kashanka. Mm -hmm. And then these two Kashanki, the, the one with blood and the one without blood, we popped in the oven uh, under broiler. Under the broiler, un yep. Until they looked nice and brown. Not the whole time, I want to nibble. I know, I I mean, just, yeah. I'll cut it. <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't want a lot of that one. <laughs> Why not? I don't particularly care for kashanka in this form. All right, uh, in the in the in the in the in the tube me in, it's, in it's the tube form. In tube form. So this well, I'll one. I'll bite it and taste this one. This one I like to eat with mustard. Mmm. So I'm gonna do. There this. is a a little bit of a minerally flavor to these. Yeah. But the skin got nice and crispy, which helps out immensely. There's a little bit of salt. Oh yeah, it's I can definitely uh, smell kasha in it. Mm-hmm. And then the kasha. Mouse watering. What do you think? Mmm. This one is gorgeous. It's really nice. But I like to cook it in a different fashion. I like to cook it like this. So to make this one, we heated uh, we cut up some onions, oh. then we brown the onions in the small cast iron pan. The kashanka came out of the casing onto the the sautéed onions, and then they cooked up all together in as one big family in the skillet. Yep. And then we fried up an egg and put it on top. So now the the kasha has got nice big crispy bits in it, mm -hmm. and the onion is is has a sweet. You know what caramelized onions taste like. Mm -hmm. Then the egg and the yolk. Mm-hmm. Together. Um, I have that, like ladies it. and gentlemen, is how I like to eat my kashanka. And I like to eat this kashanka mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Put it on my bread. It's so good. With these crisp, crisp, crispy bits. If you've always wanted to try blood sausage, but you're intimidated by it, I don't blame you. Try it in this, this way, is, this hash. This is, this is the way. Try it in this hash form. And I think you'll really, you really <laughs> like it. Yum. You could eat this for breakfast easily. No, this get all is vitamins really, and minerals. really good. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really good. This is exceptional. Yes. Mm -hmm. It makes me dance in all my parts. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do this. Okay, but I have uh, to what, what I'm referring to is definitely do this, what you just said. If you're intimidated by eating kashanka a little bit, this is the way. It's got little uh, hard bits and a little bit of softer bits. And the onions actually are sweet and yum. And they grab me a pickle. What are we getting next? Mm, let's do the biawa that we biawa. didn't okay. taste. For this one, break out the the kshan, my now love. Now this one, you need kshan. Pravdiva, kshan tarti. So this is just horseradish and vinegar. And this is domove. You can tell we're not in our 20s anymore, well. Yeah, uh, it'll have some cream in it. 
because uh, it's like more like prepared horseradish. Right. That one says ostra. They both say ostra. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so this is pretty simple. During Easter time, you would also have um, ground beets, right? Yes. That you would mix the kshan with when you eat your gawa kielbasa. We're not doing that today. Today is just kshan or horseradish. And you gotta watch out. If you gotta clear your nostrils out, yeah. sometimes this horseradish will do it for you. Mm, it tastes just it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very nice. Nice and creamy. Ooh, spicy. Mmm, it's got some butt to it. Mm-hmm. Not enough to... Ooh! <laughs> Maybe... <the laughs> If you've never had this feeling before, uh, oh my it's God. like it's like wasabi or horseradish. The burn comes right up into the nose. Mm -hmm. It's not like eating like just spicy food that burns your throat and the tongue. It oh. comes up in your sinuses and lets you know you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm hmm. What about the sausage? Oh, it's great. There it goes. This one is. <coughs> particularly lean. It's very lean. I prefer some sausages to be fatty, Biala but not Biala kielbasa. Yeah. Biala kielbasa, I want it to be leaner. Mm -hmm. And if you cook it for, uh, I'm super not happy. sure if I finished my sentence, cook it for about 20 minutes on super low and it'll be nice and soft, cooked on the inside. We have also grilled these before. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's delicious on the grill. A little bit of smoky flavor coming off the grill is, is, mm. is wonderful for it. Um, oh, dude, that's spicy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now on to let's do a one that's not meat. Oh, the kishka? Kishka. So that's a potato sausage with. And the fun part about this, watching this on the grill, is it winds up coming out of either end mm -hmm. as it expands and, and pressurizes. Normal. So don't cook this one on in the middle of your grill. No, or indirect your, grilling. Indirect grilling on yep. this one. Because otherwise the whole thing will split and you won't have anything. You can also choose to cook this one on the stove. Yes. Just take it out of the casing. Yes. And, and you can, can treat it as a hash brown almost. Yep. It's, it's fantastic. Because it's potato. And... Onion and bacon. Mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, next we have. This is like one of my favorite things we've done. Yeah. Next to the upcoming beer tasting. Yeah. Uh, so let us know what you would like reviewed, and we will continue. Or just tried. Or try. I mean, sometimes it's not a review. Yeah. Maybe it's sometimes like, hey. <laughs> Taste these. Taste this stuff. Uh, let what us does know this in, do? in comments below, and we will continue this series as we move forward. And maybe this will uh, bring you an idea of, you know, maybe what. Take, take that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I want mustard for that. Of what Poland uh, is about uh, outside of what you already know. Hopefully, you can learn something new. Now, this kielbasa, this is the one that is most like the. Jo um, Hillshire Farm ring ones you get in yeah. the States. Uh, this one's perfect for the campfire, turning it slowly over mm -hmm. a stick. But you have to, if you, if you don't, if you see this, it's been cut mm -hmm. on either side. I hadn't seen this before, my lovely wife, and it's a very, very Polish thing to do. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. And it allows fat to escape, mm -hmm. and it allows the skin to crisp. Something yeah. you would never do to a bratwurst. And creates these little crispy nuggets. Yeah, the little crispy nuggets on there that are wonderful. Don't do it to a bratwurst, especially in Wisconsin. Somebody will punch you. There's not going right Oh, there. thank you. Uh, but for kielbasa, it's really good. And if you come to Poland, oh, yo, yo. you'll 9.9 .9 out of 10, times out of 10, this is how every Pole will cook their sausage. Yep. On yep. the grill or on the fire. Mm -hmm. The only ones that don't are vegetablists. Because <laughs> they don't eat the sausage. <laughs> but I prefer, for this one I prefer ketchup. Do you? I do. I don't prefer ketchup on, on any of my meats. I know. And this is a mandatory uh, item when while burning some woods. Mm -hmm. If you have a also fire. Also known as bonfire. <laughs> yeah, if you have a fire, I'm going to drink a beer because I'm out of mine. But if you're having a 
Yep, it's gonna happen. Mandatory sausage, not so much s'mores. Okay, last one. <sighs> last but not least, the, the non-blood blood sausage. Mmm, <laughs> appetizing. And then, mm -hmm. we're gonna rate our uh, sausages from most to least favorites. Okay, now this one's interesting, so I wanna get it hold yeah. kind of a closer up. Oh, guys, okay, so look at that. So this one has the similar minerally kind of uh, taste like kashanka wood. You get that from organ meats. Um, and you can definitely taste the kasha, but minus. And again, though, for me, the blood doesn't come through as much. Now, but I, I want you to okay. taste a bite of that and then bite oh, well. of this, the okay. regular um, kashanka. A little comparo. <clears throat> and see if you can taste that much difference okay all right there's one these pickles are mm -hmm. i can taste a difference so this one i don't know if this is gonna make sense it has a brighter taste mm -hmm. This is a more earthy, irony flavor to it. Yeah, the blood. Mm-hmm. And this one is a brighter flavor. I much prefer this in tube meat form. So if I'm gonna eat tube meat, yeah. I would prefer the bloodless blood sausage. But if it's if Kashanka's around, I get a fried egg in a frying pan. I'm happy as crap. This is really tasty. This is all it really is tasty. good. It is tasty. Actually, want some more of that. Which now does Bachik do. sell sausages? Bachik does sell sausages. And they have a nice variety actually too so uh, go ahead and browse around on their website they have uh, they've also preparing a bundle of sausages you can buy um, so browse around and, and look for that as well and I think it'll come with some mustards and some horseradishes as well so awesome take a look so what would you rate not numbers but like your favorite to least least favorite so the first favorite is the Slonska smoked delightfulness. Second favorite is the Biawa kielbasa. Third favorite is the kishka. Um, fourth favorite is the Kraf Krakowska. Krakowska. I don't know, but there's like they're all like yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's really it's so really I, close. Okay, so top three. I top think three. More, yeah. This one Cabanose and Biawa kielbasa. For me, uh, and then bottom last is really that bad boy. Oh my! I was gonna say the fried. Uh, that's your dead last. That's, that's my fr favorite. Oh, that's your favorite. Really? On bread, yeah. Wow. Then I'm gonna say cabanose. Uh huh. The thin sausages. Right. And then uh, like the regular, uh, the the dried one. I'm really this. surprised you hear that's your favorite. You don't buy it very often. Because I don't want to spoil it. That's a <laughs> lesson in life, people. Don't overdo your favorite thing. Yeah. You might pull a hamstring. It's just so good. Yeah. Like it's. But, but there's like beer. There may be some, uh, you know, how the memories are connected to food. Yes. I think it has something to do with oh, really? that. Because, like, you know, you'd go to grandma's house or something. Uh -huh. and, like, my grandpa would do that. Uh huh. So. You kind of eat piece of that, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I'm sitting right there next yeah. to you know next to him." So that may be it. Well, now that we've devastated a whole plate of <laughs> sausages, we need to go for a run. We need to go for a walk <laughs> or something like that. But jump on thebotcheek.com. Check out their stuff. They're good people. It's a small company. They deserve your 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 uh, your patronage if you can. It's wonderful food, and they're good people. The promo code will be in the video description, so just go below and check it out. I'll also post a link to Bachik. And uh, please let us know what you think about our videos. Also jump on to www.polishyourkitchen.com. Check out recipes by this lovely lady over on here. On Mondays? Every Monday there will be a new one uh, coming out on uh, the Tube of You channel. <laughs> on Fridays, once in a while, we'll put a video of us out, out in the beach doing when things. When kitchen's closed when the kitchen's closed uh follow us on instagram on the facebook do all the things please subscribe if you like us and yes i was gonna say if you subscribe you're gonna send some good karma out in the world and it's gonna turn around and get you back yeah good karma is <laughs> he likes that <laughs>
Well, um, I guess the last question is, would you eat that? See you next time. Bye. <laughs>